morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning here in Madrid to the Digital Innovation Hubs event, which we called Key Towards Broad Digital Transformation of European Industry. I would not want to have many words now. I would like to first hand to our host, Mario Buisan, Director General of the in the, in the Spanish Ministry of Economia and Competitiveness. He is the Director General for Industry and SMEs, and he has an impressive CV before. I, I, I saw that you worked in the Foreign Services on Trade in, in the United States, and you have also been working for an agency of the World Bank, and the digital transformation of industry is at your heart. So I heard you had an event, uh, we know you had a big event yesterday, and I hope you can report to us a little bit also what was uh, happening there and what's important for us in this IFOMS event. So Mario, please. Good morning to everyone. First of all, welcome to Madrid, welcome to Spain, and welcome to the uh, Ministry of Economy, Industry, and Competitiveness. It's really a pleasure for me to welcome all of you here in, in Madrid at, the, at this uh, ministry. Um, thank you also to, to Max, to DigiConnect, for uh, inviting us uh, for the opening of, of uh, this conference. Um, we're really very happy of hosting here the, this, this conference. As um, Max already said, we are uh, very much devoted and dedicated to the digital transformation. Actually, it was right yesterday we have the first Spanish Congress on digital transformation. It was opened by the, by the minister, the Minister of, of Economy, Industry and Competitiveness. And we had uh, several panels of, uh, I would say, fantastic speakers. No? And especially we have an, an attendance of uh, more than 700 um, enterprises, companies, most of them SMEs. And so I think the results are, we are very happy today. We are in all the, in all the media, the newspapers, the major newspapers, uh, economic and non-economic newspapers here in, in Spain. Also we were yesterday on TV. So I think the, um, the relevance of the event was really important. And, and as I mentioned, it was uh, the idea is that it was the first Congress, so next year, we want to do something, if possible, even better. So we'll see, but as you, as you think, we are uh, happy, and especially because, as you know, uh, for us, <clears throat> well, I guess not only here in Spain, but everywhere in Europe, it's important, this idea of uh, awareness raising uh, for digital transformation, uh, especially for SMEs. Uh, we think that there is a lot of work to do in trying to make them aware of how much is at stake, how important <coughs> is this process of uh, digitization where, uh, where we, are, we are going through. And so yesterday's event was actually uh, one of the most important we organized here in, in Spain um, with, that, um, with that idea, with that goal. And as I mentioned, I think we, we advanced, we're advancing little by little on that, on that area. Okay, um, let me begin with my presentation in the next um, 12, 15 minutes. I'm just trying to explain you very briefly uh, what we're doing here in, in Spain, our national strategy, and especially what are we doing uh, with respect to digital innovation hubs. No? That's something I think is, it was a very good idea uh, coming from the, from the commission, from DigiConnect, from the team of uh, Max and, and, and Khalil. And, um, and we got it, uh, I mean, from the very first moment, because I mentioned it's a very good way of advancing in this idea of uh, being, trying to, to go deeper and deeper on digitizing and digital transformation. Okay, first of all, what I have to do is that for us, uh, digitizing, digital transformation is uh, a very important part 
of our industrial policy. So here I just try to put the, the, the challenges we are going through. Um, we are right now uh, drafting what we call our um, strategic framework for industrial policy, something that we are going to, to present to the Council of Ministers, I hope, in the next month or a month and a half, more or less. And one of the most important parts of that strategy, and even I could say perhaps the, the most important part, is precisely digital transformation. So for us, digitizing, digital transformation is industrial policy and it's very important to advance and to reach this uh, goal of the European Commission for Europe, for the European Union, of reaching the 20% 20, 20 of our GDP coming from uh, the industrial uh, GDP. Okay, taking that in mind, in what we did already, yeah, almost, uh, well, almost no, two years ago in 2015, we launched, well, we draft and we launched the national, our national strategy uh, for digitalization. And we call it Industria Conectada. It was at the beginning a uh, public-private partnership. We uh, draft it with uh, the, the th these three Spanish companies that are there. And um, it was, yeah, the, our roadmap to advance for uh, digitizing uh, our companies, our, our SMEs, and, and, and our industry in, in general terms. Uh, no. okay. okay, I mean, the goals, just very briefly, objectives of, of our strategy were, I mean, at, at, the, at, the, at the end, just to try to advance in terms of our industrial added value to increase it as much as possible, also employment. Industrial employment is another uh, very important goal uh, that we have to try to, uh, to make our companies more competitive, um, to foster our industry and our industrial exports, and also our second here is, is, is put in this, the second line, the goal to try to develop at the same time our uh, digital enablers, digital solutions, so that part of the, of the supply of the technology that companies are going to take advantage of in order to advance in their uh, digital transformation. Okay, here there are uh, the, um, the structure, uh, the summary, of uh, our lines of action and strategic areas of our um, strategy. Uh, as you can see, basically we uh, develop and we draft four major lines of action, uh, something to do with awareness and, and training. Training is also uh, so important in this field, in this, in this area. Uh, collaborative environments, collaboration, I think it's another key uh, expression, key word and key element when talking about um, digitizing companies. Um, digital enablers, already I mentioned how we are trying to, uh, to work on developing our, our digital companies, also hand-to-hand uh, -hand and shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with uh, the Ministry of uh, Digital Agenda. And also, uh, last but not least, finally, um, we also, and I think that's very important, we try to support our companies, especially our SMEs, uh, to make it easier for them uh, their process of uh, digital transformation. As I mentioned earlier, I think that here um, in, in, in the whole Europe, in the whole European Union, we have to work very, very tough and very hard because uh, I think the future of uh, the European uh, digitalization um, comes very directly uh, from the fact if we are successful in um, pushing our SMEs in this digital transformation. If we are not successful in that field, I think that we are going to have problems uh, for the European industry, especially if we consider that we are uh, well, competing with, with Asia, with the, with the States, with America, and so uh, we have to be at the edge of the, of, the, um, of the digitalization. I think it's the only way of, of at least to keep our uh, competitive advantage that we have today. Okay. Um, in terms of strategic areas, what we did was to, uh, um, to look into uh, more concrete um, areas, and, and here you can see the, the eight areas that we define. Basically what we do is they try to, uh, as I mentioned, to, to make it in more detail these um, lines of action that I already mentioned. I already mentioned. I'm not going to, to go in every bit, but as you see, uh, basically, we are trying well, to, to, to center and to focus 
on these uh, four lines of action that I already mentioned. Okay, I want to, to, to focus especially on the, on, the, on the second line of action um, with this, this idea of uh, collaborative environments, platforms, collaboration, because here is where we are working in three very specific um, issues and areas. Number one, what we call in Spanish agrupaciones empresariales, empresariales innovadoras, that basically is the concept of clusters. We are working uh, with clusters already. Uh, we are, we've been several years uh, so far uh, working with them. We have a, a register of clusters and we finance uh, the projects that are presented to, to us. Actually, uh, this year where when we launched the, the call a um, couple of months ago and we're going to give the definitive results in, in, in one week or a couple of weeks. Uh, number two, which is basically the, uh, the major and the main issue of, of today's uh, conference, digital innovation hubs. Um, I'm going to refer um, right now, a little bit later. And the third element that we want to, uh, well, we're already beginning to work and we want to work and develop um, in more detail our industrial platforms. No? That's something that uh, we know that uh, DigiConnect, the commission is also working on it with an, a manufacturing platform with um, uh, artificial intelligence. And, and so we, we want to see how we're going to collaborate because I think this is another basic element uh, that is going to define also the success of, of uh, the digital transformation. Okay, so I, I'm going to speak a little bit uh, more about digital innovation hubs. Okay, what are we doing here? What we began to do uh, several months ago, uh, we launched our digital innovation hub initiative uh, actually here in this, in this room. Um, it was in May, uh, last May, so several months ago, uh, because we uh, answered to the uh, demand of the of the commission in order to try to identify the uh, the number and which uh, digital innovation hubs uh, were in, in in Spain. So the first task uh, we did was to identify it, and to try to give them uh, in this institutional support and also to reach a map. So the mapping of the of the of the services that uh, they can provide to uh, to companies. Aside from that, we also are working on on financing. Uh, we want to see, I mean, what kind of financing, both coming from the from from Brussels, from the European Union, also from the from our um, national budget. And um, number five, uh, we are also, and I think this this the conference I mentioned that we organized in May was uh, was another of of, uh, of the goals we we had with it was to try to coordinate among the public administrations, national administration, regional administration, and also in some cases. A local administration all together to try to foster and to push the um, creation of digital innovation um, hubs. And finally, uh, okay, we're talking, as I mentioned, uh, how um, we can access the, the funds the, that the Commission is going to put for them and also um, to try, uh, well, to see an advance in, in terms of the, uh, the industrial companies, especially the SMEs, that are uh, an important, a very important part uh, of the um, uh, of these um, digital innovation uh, hubs. Okay, right now um, we work uh, well together with with uh, with Innovalia, the the consultant firm, and they, we have already identified these 46 uh, digital innovation hubs. As you know, this is a, an open process, and so we are still working on it. But so far, we have, I think, a relatively um, interesting number of of uh, of DIHs. Uh, 46, and what I mentioned, we are more ambitious, and we want to, to advance a little bit on that on that field. Okay, we also, as part of the uh, support that we want to give from uh, from ours, from our national budget, we are going uh, to uh, put the focus on digital innovation hubs uh, in our in the call in the call where we already have with clusters. No, the A AEI is, as I mentioned before, the uh, the word we or, or the concept of, of cluster. We have a call uh, for them, and we also want, as I, as I, as I said, want to introduce this uh, concept as, and these digital innovation hubs in the call that we are going to launch next year. So, uh, from from next year, we would also would be to that digital innovation hubs are an, an important and a relevant part of the financing that we are uh, giving for this collaboration, these collaborative schemes. 
that we are already uh, working uh, with them. Okay, and just uh, to finish, uh, we think also that it's important not just to launch this idea of digital innovation hubs to try to identify uh, which are the ones here in Spain, but also the part of the, uh, the governance part of the strategy. And so what we did within the framework of our strategy, we are working with several uh, working groups, and one of the working groups we launched uh, already, as I mentioned, in May, so several months ago, is precisely one referred to digital innovation hubs. No? The idea here uh, with the creation of this working group is to, I mean, to put all the players here in Spain that have to do, so, that have something to do and, and want something to say about digital innovation hubs to coordinate the different initiatives that we have from the national um, administration and also from, from the regional and, and local administrations and uh, at the same time to try to promote collaboration uh, among these different uh, initiatives. Now, it's something that I think also the Commission is working on it. They want to work in the collaboration um, between and among different digital innovation hubs in different countries. So this kind of um, inter-country um, uh, collaboration. And also here in Spain, we want to uh, organize on to advance and to push the same scheme in terms of the, uh, the uh, digital innovation hubs that we have in, in several or in different uh, autonomous communities, different regions in, in Spain. So the idea are also, as I mentioned, this, uh, to promote this collaborative action between them and, uh, well, um, to a certain extent or to a certain point to reach uh, a portfolio, a service portfolio of, of uh, digital innovation hubs that I understand at the end is the major role that they have to play, you know, how they can support firms, they can support companies, and especially SMEs, in their process of digital transformation. No? So they should need, they should have a portfolio of services that are the services that these SMEs are ideally going to take advantage for in terms of when, when beginning and we're going through the process of digital uh, transformation. And this is all I wanted to, to tell you. Thank you again for your presence here in, in, in Madrid, in the, in the ministry. And um, I'm sure that you are going to have a very fruitful uh, conference. And I guess that some of you are going to stay here for the weekend. That's the reason I understand why the, the conference was on Friday. And then I, I, um, I wish you a, a very nice uh, weekend here in, in Madrid. Thank you very much.